Here's a quick tip on one way to save a bad composition. I'm getting ready for an exhibition and I found this painting in my flat files. I like what's going on here but there's too much empty space around it and that horse is placed right in the middle of the composition. So what I'm going to do is take my 20 by 16 painting and turn it into a vertical sixteen by twelve painting and I like it much better. When I created this painting I thought I could make the empty space of the background interesting but with the horse placed dead center it creates a small static triangle of light that's not very interesting and all the empty space feels just as important as the objects, so you're not sure where to look. You can really see the impact when the painting is turned into black and white. When the painting is cropped, the story of light falling on the objects becomes much clearer and the eye travels in a circular motion from the top of the horse's head down the silver pot, along the edge of the flowers, and then to the cup. The form shadow on the cup becomes an important compositional tool, gently curving your eye around the edge of the painting and back up to the horse. After a couple of years of sitting ignored in my flat files, I have a new painting that I'm happy with. This is one of the benefits of working on paper and these types of fixes are much more difficult on a canvas. If I had planned this out doing some thumbnail sketches ahead of time, I would have probably figured out to crop the painting. Luckily, a good pair of scissors will solve the problem for me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like to see more of my work, learn about upcoming workshops, or read my blog, please visit my website, viannasabo.com. For more in-depth painting lessons, please visit my Patreon site, The Painter's Classroom, where for $5 a month, you get lessons in the form of videos, blogs, and handouts, plus you get your art questions answered. The link is below. Thanks again for watching.